I don't know how Nikon has achieved it, but what I do know is that many of the files that we created should be impossible with older technology. The performance of the Z-System was spectacular, largely because of the flawless nature of the Nikon glass. That's something that I haven't experienced to date, really. You're leaving behind the sense of limitation within this. It creates a freedom in your creativity that becomes unbridled. Light to me is super important to make a good image. We capture the light, we capture the moment, we capture the atmosphere. This is such an amazing feeling. It's such gold. Without light, you would not be able to create moods, play around with tones. As a photographer, you have to capture that one moment that is magic. These days that I remember warmly and try to have the right mindset that uh, stuff like this can happen. The light and me, we won. When you're standing on a perfect location, on a perfect light, perfect moment, everything is nice, then you have to trust your camera. get the perfect shot at the perfect moment, you would only have one chance. It's very important to have a camera where you're able to capture the shots that you truly want. You wait for that magic moment, it's always exciting, it never disappoints. A great photographer lives the passion of photography. Stay true to your style, true to yourself. For me, a camera is a tool. So I have to completely rely on it and trust it in any conditions. When it gets really cold and really windy and really tough, that's the moment your camera has to come out and you've got to be shooting. Those are those unique, amazing moments. I'm always looking for the atmosphere. I'm always looking for the best light. Each one of us, as an individual, we have a unique way to use a daylight. I know the light, the light know me. The next chapter in Nikon's journey begins today. We have come a long way over the past two years, and we are honored to unveil the latest additions to our Z system. But before we get into that, we'd like to take a moment to show our respect to all the photographers and videographers out there. The passion of photographers and videographers has power. We've been so inspired by your creativity in these different and challenging times. All of us at Nikon have been excited to see the incredible images you've been creating and sharing. We believe that images can move the world to a brighter, more positive future. The Z system is designed to deliver new imaging possibilities, bringing a vision to life like never before. Built on over a century of outstanding innovation, this is more than just another mirrorless camera system. The Z-mount brings enormous flexibility to the way we can design cameras and lenses. 
It is our commitment to the future of imaging for stills and movies. With the bigger Z mount, our Z system will help you capture more light, more detail, more beautiful moments. Nikon Z is all about innovation and collaboration. Over the last two years, you've asked and we have listened. Nikon Z is for you, and you have helped make it better than ever. Welcome to the next generation of Nikon Z. When it comes to the Z6 II, everything we loved about the Z6 has been carried over. We still get that great 24 megapixel full frame sensor that offers true to life colors, great dynamic range, and great low light performance. But we've also combined that with the new additional features that people requested for. And we've added in things like the dual card slots, battery pack capabilities, and a few other menu adjustments and auto focusing adjustments as well that people requested from the Z6. When it comes to the photography side of things, we have a 24 megapixel full frame sensor. That sensor has now been paired with two XSpeed 6 processors, which means that we see a bump in quite a lot of features of this camera. Things like frames per second are now faster, 14 frames per second. Also, the camera's buffer is much larger, which means we can shoot continuously for much longer periods of time. The faster the camera fires, it means the more frames you're going to be able to capture, which means that especially with moving subjects, horses, wildlife photography, and so on, you have more flexibility to make sure you capture that exact moment that you want in your shot. The Z6 II also has a new implementation of autofocus, so now you no longer have to go into the menu to adjust it from animal or human eye detection. This effectively gives you a smaller area for the camera to look at, which means it can more accurately track eyes in a very specific area of your frame rather than looking at the whole area. The Z6 II also adds dual card slots. You have that first slot, which is a Compact Flash Express or XQD card slot, which we know and love from the Z6 and the Z7, but we now have the addition of an SD card slot. This SD card slot supports UHS-2 cards, and it means that you can then also run a backup when you're shooting stills. So when it comes to the Z6 II and its new video features, we have new frame rates, we have new auto focusing modes in video as well. So we gain the ability to now use face tracking and eye tracking in video. Eye tracking was the one of the things that you could never do when it came to the Z6 and Z7, you only had to rely on face tracking. 
So for the solo shooter, for the person that's recording themselves in front of camera, it means that you can now more reliably have your eyes in focus across your video when you're moving in and out of the camera itself. Or if you're a camera operator and you're using your Z6 II on a gimbal, that camera can be shooting using face tracking and eye tracking to make sure the subject's eyes are always in focus. If you want the ultimate in terms of quality and control over your video, you also have the option to enable your Z6 II with ProRes RAW shooting when you're recording to an external recorder through the HDMI. You can also record in HLG hybrid log gamma format. One of the biggest requests for the Z6 was the option to use a vertical batch grip that had a shutter button and controls on it. That's obviously been addressed when it comes to the Z6 II. We now have the option of an additional battery grip with a shutter button, AF controls and hot swappable batteries. One of the biggest features for me is that it can also be USB-C powered so you can directly power and charge the batteries in the battery grip itself. There's a couple of little features that have been added in the Z6 II when it comes to its menu system. Some things like we now have the extended longer shutter speeds, so we can now shoot up to 900 seconds. When it comes to the Z6, if you turn the camera off, the lens will automatically default back to infinity, so when you turn the camera back on, your point of focus is moved. This can be quite frustrating, especially if you're setting up a, a particular shot. But in a Z6 II, you can turn this on so that the lens will always hold its focus in position when the camera's turned on or off. This is going to be a feature that's not only beneficial for videographers, but it's also going to be great for photographers, especially if you're shooting in a scenario where you don't want your focusing point to change every single time you turn your camera on or off. The Z6 II is a great camera for low light shooting, not only because it offers great high ISO performance, but also because its low light autofocus has been improved. One little feature that I think that's still worth talking about is that with the Z6 II and also the new Z cameras, you can update the firmware via SnapBridge. This feature means that when there is a new firmware update, it's going to be much easier for you to update your camera to make sure you get the newest and latest features when it comes to the Z6 II. My name is Marion Payer. I'm a travel photographer from Austria. For me, photography has been democratized by social media, so it's more accessible for much more people. And I include myself in that because I'm not such a technical person. Travel photography is always a place of passion. People do that because they love traveling and, and photography was for me the perfect tool to convey that passion to other people. So with the Nikon mirrorless system, with the Z6 II, I can convey exactly this motion, this natural feeling of a place. And I think this is kind of the art of travel photography, to show a place with its magic, but still keeping it close to reality. You know, as a travel photographer, you always look for something that portrays an emotion and brings people into that area. So it's nice to have a shot of the landscape. It's nice to show Tyrol the way it looks, but it's even nicer to tell a little bit of a story about this region. I've chosen this spot because we're in the mountains. We are at the peak here. We have a beautiful view. The sun is rising above the mountains. And then we have these very iconic horses. They're called Haflinger horses. So during this shoot, we were shooting these horses at sunrise, so that's a moment that passes very quickly. So you only have a limited time frame where you can work with. And as a photographer, you have to capture that one moment that is magic. So it's really essential to have a reliable autofocus in those moments. Well, we got up at 5.45 today to walk up just a little step here behind the hut to catch the sunrise. And there's this huge panorama and sunrise is happening right here in front of me, so it cannot get better than that. In natural environments, just like you can see here, you have changing light all the time. So now we have clouds and we have the sunlight, so the EVF allows me to see exactly how the light is changing and how the camera is reacting on it and what I have to change. There's this golden grass, you see it's already fall, the grass is turning yellow, all these colors shine in the light of the sunrise. With the camera you discover new possibilities with light. And then now you can go to situations that are, you know, after sunset, before sunrise, you can shoot in low light, you can push ISO up to places that a smartphone could never reach. I have my model back there, the hut here, and then I have a really nice boulder coming out there. So I have a cool composition that's framing my model. 
my gear has to work for me and has to be lightweight, has to be easy to use and has to also not limit me creatively. In the end, the set 62 is going to help me enjoy my travels more, is going to help me be a better travel photographer and also a better traveler. I think both things go hand in hand. My name is Andrew Barber and I am a street style photographer. My style of photography is more documentary. The main focus is fashion, the way how people dress with the sole aim of finding ways of inspiring the way how we dress ourselves. My inspiration for today's shoot is the location. Typically when I'm shooting a model or my subject, I always think about the location first and then the outfits and the way how I'm gonna shoot. Shooting something different, experimenting it with lights, the tones, contrast, Thinking more about the way how I adjust and try new settings on this camera is simply amazing. First thing I look for when I'm capturing that moment is the person's outfit. It has to be an outfit that's gonna make me want to capture it. Once I've found the outfit that I really want to capture, I'll then follow my subject to somewhere where I can compose the image really, really well. Looking amazing, man. I am super happy with this. One thing I love to do is I like to make the most out of the environment itself. So I typically hide behind walls or like structures or maybe trees and I like to cut some of the image. I'm really happy with this purely because of the fact that I don't like to work in harsh light most of the time. And the fact that I've managed to find somewhere where she's in the shadows, you can't see too much of the outfit. You can see the beautiful earrings that she's wearing and you can see how the sun's just hitting her face and her arms and the white shoes. So this is perfect for me. There we go, you got it, you got it. It's nice being able to make that transition from the Z6 to the Z6 II without having to worry about any new settings that will completely throw me off. You should have seen the look on my face when I realized that some of these features had been improved. The dual card slots, being able to turn your camera to the side and shoot portrait. The fact that you can now shoot 14 frames per second, similar to the D6. I think it's gonna make a dramatic difference because of the fact that when I shoot street style and backstage, fashion is fast. So I always needed a fast camera whenever I was shooting on the streets. Some people think that shooting street style is just a case of picking up a camera and shooting one person just like that. There's so much that you need to think about when you're shooting street style photography. You have to think about your camera settings, what shutter speed you might use, the ISO, you also need to think about your overall composition and the environment that you're shooting in and what you want to be seen. Once I've got that definitive shot, the shot that makes me jump up and be like, yes, I've got it. It's the best feeling ever. My name is Francois Laboureux. I'm from southwest of France and I'm a videographer. When I make videos, I try to make them the most dynamic possible. But what I'm really interested in is capturing the emotions and having people the most natural possible too. I had always thought how great it would be to shoot a wedding video at the Dune du Pila. That's uh, Europe's highest sand dune. Wedding video is one of the most difficult thing because uh, you cannot redo something. You have to get the perfect shot at the perfect moment and you only have one chance. And since I have only one shot, I have to be really, really confident in my gear. The most important thing in a wedding film is to capture the emotion. So you're gonna find that emotion and use the tool that fits the most to get that emotion. So because we have uh, small cameras, we can be uh, uh, practically invisible. Sometimes I don't have a, a precise idea of what I'm gonna do, so I try things. And you, you have to, to adapt to the personality of the couple because if they are a very expressive couple, then you know you're gonna have to shoot more dynamically. While I'm uh, moving fast, uh, I need to rely on the autofocus. You have IBIS to make the, the shot smooth and then you uh, can use slow-mo to make it even uh, smoother.
I use ProRes RAW for big projects and some uh, uh, high quality projects. This is a codec that is really flexible. When the light conditions are not great, you can still have something really, really, really great, really beautiful. And for color grading, it's uh, such a pleasure. You can do whatever you want. And also, uh, something I love about the Z62 is the double slot, SD and XQD. Uh, I think that's something that's really important, especially for weddings. It's really important that the, the couple trust us. Uh, when they see the film, usually they cry. And when they cry, we know that we've done good work. And that's what we look for, to be moved and touched by, by what they saw. Uh, and there's something magical about the, the memories you get in, in that film. I'm Redemski, and I'm an action and adventure photographer. We're here in the mountains of Tyrol, Austria, and I've been shooting some trail running over the last couple days. Part of our running has been on ridges at over 3,000 meters, and we've done the rest down here in the valley. With my photography, I like to be right there in the action, to feel what the athletes are feeling, and to catch that perfect moment. So as much as I can minimize on my camera system, the better off I am. So having a Z62 in my bag with lightweight lenses reduces that little bit of weight that I can go a little bit faster. Okay guys, let's go! For me, a camera is a tool. So I have to completely rely on it and trust it in any conditions. And when it's blowing hard snow or there's mud flying around it, I don't want to be thinking about the camera or worrying about it getting wet. A great action shot for me starts with that first pull, you know? I like to be right there inside the action and really feel the moment and the emotions that the athlete brings to it. So I want the details to be perfect and I don't want to think about my camera, I don't want to think about the system. The Z62 and the Z series lenses really helps me get that shot. I'm used to fast cameras, and it's really nice to transition to the Z62 and have 14 frames per second. It gives me the option to fire off a burst and really capture that moment of peak action. For me, when yes. there's a, really a time pressure and the light is just fading away and you have those few minutes to capture the shot, it's so important to have a familiar camera. And I just love that. The Z62, I got it in my hands, put it up to my eye, and everything was right there where I know it should be. Cool. <laughs> Light to me is super important to make a good image. And in the outdoors, it's all about finding locations, knowing where the sun will be. I want to create depth and contrast in my image to see the layers and to see the details. Yesterday, I checked out the ridge line and it looked amazing. And I thought, well, the sun's going to come up right over there. And if I can get somebody running on this ridge, it's going to be incredible. Performed beautifully and we got these amazing silhouette shots with a runner, with the headlamp on. Yeah, just beautiful. The perfect shot is always a combination of a couple of factors. Light, super important, and then the location is always the base of the shot. And the action, that just makes the shot. Let us talk about the next chapter for the Z7 line, the Z7 II. The dual X-Speed engine featured in these cameras is actually improving all aspects of the camera. Photographers will notice that the autofocus is much more snappy and reliable, even under very challenging conditions, but also more accurate in tracking and enables IAF not only in stills, but also in video. This is a first for the Z7 and Z6 line. Overall performance in this camera went up significantly. You will see that also in the frame rates. With 10 frames per second and a much deeper buffer, this camera is much more capable for long shootings and also for fast succession shootings. 
One of the big requests after we introduced the first generation, they would like to have a double card slot with these cameras. So we listened and now we introduced a dual card slot, one card slot featuring CF Express or XQD if you wish, and the second card slot featuring SD UHS-2. The camera bodies are protective by magnesium alloy from all sides, giving you a very tough camera built for the most toughest condition out there. We also introduce a new battery grip, which will allow you to hot charge batteries, but also delivers vertical shooting controls. The USB-C port also allows you to charge batteries inside the camera while you are not shooting. This new feature of hot power via USB allows you to go through with shooting, for example on extensive video productions, not being relying only on one battery inside your camera. In terms of video, the Z7 II features up to 4K 60p resolution on the full frame sensor. This is a nice step up from the former 4K 30p that the first generation delivered. Even the camera, though it is a piece of hardware, also consists of software which we constantly involve and also add camera features over time. So with this, every Nikon Z camera is also a safe investment. With all the massive performance improvements which we introduce in this generation of cameras, we think this is the next chapter not only of technology but also creative possibilities. One of the strong points of the Z7 II is not only its high resolution with a 45 megapixel sensor, but also its extremely high dynamic range. So if you need to go big on detail, because you're shooting fashion, wedding, landscape, or if you are in need of a multimedia powerhouse with a Z system and also supported by the dual XPeed engine, actually this is taken to another level. The constant evolution of our system, our software and our lens lineup will offer a solution for all and every situation out there. My name is Konsta Punkka. I'm a Finnish wildlife and adventure photographer. And we are in Kuhma in the eastern Finland. I'm mostly focused on capturing very intimate portraits of Finnish wildlife. I love to spend time with the same animals and through that I can uh, capture sort of the secret world of the animals. So now we are on this uh, lakeside. We are trying to capture the wolf pack now around here. So I have set up the remote controlled camera there as well uh, to maybe get some uh, wide angle shots of the of wolves hopefully. So it's now just a matter of time uh, when the animals would come around. The biggest thing about wildlife photography for me is to have the correct mindset. So sometimes the nature gives and sometimes it doesn't. When spending a lot of time with the animals, you get to know and learn their uh, paths and their how they move and often react to different uh, situations. And so you are always ready before the best shot might happen. This is the remote control setup. I was sitting myself in the in the height and controlling the camera with through the snap bridge. And uh, the bear came extremely close to the camera. So when it comes to remote uh, photography, there's different kind of setups you can use. You can, now I have been using the snap bridge with the Bluetooth connection and the Wi-Fi connection, and it has been uh, super good. now when I use the Nikon Z7 II series. It's amazing because it's way lighter. It might rain, it might snow throughout the day. So it's of course very important that the camera is uh, weather sealant and uh, re reliable. If I need something to be extremely sharp and uh, detailed, it's the animal's eye because that's where the viewer's focus always goes. Uh, and that's always the main thing about the photo. So that means having a big resolutional file is very important. The eyes tells the story. Uh, that's the main thing in my wildlife photography. I have seen a lot of wildlife photography and uh, it's often it's very documentary style. 
uh, for me, when I capture the eye contact in the photos, it uh, sort of brings the animal to life. My name is Delphine Diallo. I'm a photographer and visual artist based in New York City, Brooklyn. My love for photography is the connection with vision. So the way that I'm seeing the world, the way that I can interpret what I'm actually experiencing as a human being, it's the reason why I have so much love for photography. The subject in my work are most black women because I never seen when I grew up the interpretation of the black woman, the way that I vision it. So I'm really focusing on creating an, an iconic vision of the black woman. So collage and photography are connected for me because collage allowed me to have a, a infinite possibilities and to tell a story who more connected with the story of humanity, not just my vision. So the way that I'm building my world is as well through collage. And the collage helped me to put more depth into the story and recreating two different spaces where they're able to communicate between each other. The relationship that I have with technology is always to improve my creativity on the set. The Nikon Z7 II is like an extension of myself. It gives me the freedom to be more present. It gives me the freedom to not going back to the computer. It gives me the freedom to trust the color and to trust the light. And the fact that everything was so fast, I had to think ahead of time the way that I'm going to work with her. By using the eye detect feature, I was able finally to focus on the eyes with no stress anymore. I used so much to use the manual focus because I was scared to not having the right focus. The result was outstanding. And my picture looked like a painting. So in my work, I use the word protagonist because I want to move away from the relationship with the photographer and the muse and the model. I want everything in this picture to have a meaning because I felt the story of photography should shift to meaningful content. I'm Tali, based in Germany, and I'm a wedding photographer. I'm always looking for the atmosphere. I'm always looking for the best light I could have. And I try to combine this within my photography. I love destination weddings because it's always nice to be surrounded by different people, by the culture. And as I really love to have the sunset light or the after sunset light in countries like Spain and Italy and Greece, this is why I love to travel there. I love the in-between moments when people don't recognize me, when people don't notice me as a photographer, because it has something really magic. So as a wedding photographer, it's very important to be a people person because we are surrounded by 100, 200 people. They have to have a good feeling if you are there. And this is why we think empathy is very important. It's very tough during a wedding day because you have to find the perfect light. You have to find the perfect backdrop. And because it's so tough during a wedding day, it's so good to have a small camera. I think this camera allows me to immerse more into the atmosphere with the people because it's so small and it's very light and people don't focus on the camera. 
I immediately recognized that the IAF is so fast, it is so sharp, it is really so easy to work. Because when you have a reliable camera, you can focus on the really important thing going on in the day, on the emotions. It's very important to have those 10 frames a second because we need those important shots, for example, when the bride is throwing a bouquet. So this is a great feature of the camera. Another amazing feature for me is that this camera has a second card slot because it gives me security, because you can't repeat any moment. I think it's a mixture between our experience and the camera equipment. It's very um, important to have the flexibility of a camera which is reliable for me and this camera is really the perfect match to my work and to my style because we capture the light, we capture the moment, we capture the atmosphere. This is such an amazing feeling. My name is Stefan Forster. I'm a professional landscape photographer from Switzerland. Right now I'm in the Austrian Alps in Tyrol. Being a landscape photographer was always my passion and will always be. Because I was always the nature boy, I was always out in the wilderness. I always used photography as a reason to be outside all the time. Even the most beautiful scenery, even the most beautiful composition of a frame isn't worth anything if there is no beautiful light. Unless other types of photography, which you can simulate the same light again and again and again. In landscape photography, the moments are unique. So that means when you're standing on a perfect location, on a perfect light, perfect moment, everything is nice, then you have to trust your camera. What I need is a camera which survives my style of photography. And they don't care about snow, they don't care about the cold, they don't care about the heat. They're just always working. The camera itself is just a tool, but the most important thing is being somewhere and staying somewhere. So for me personally, having a light backpack, having a light camera equipment is the most important part. Alrighty. The dynamic range defines the, the capability of the sensor to take the lowest and the highest part in one shot. In landscape photography, it's quite common to go to a place 10 times, nine times it's, well, it's okay, and one time it's just phenomenal. When I'm standing on a hill or on a mountain, I think, oh no, this other mountain might be the better view, so I'm always in a move. I'm definitely not the classical landscape photographer which is waiting for something. Everything has been photographed a thousand times. So today the hunt for a perfect landscape photo means coming again and again and again to the exactly same place until you get this one shot which <laughs> you can be proud of. Let us have a look at the Nikko Z lenses. The base is built around a large Z mount and a short flange, which is the distance between the sensor and the camera's Z mount. Thanks to that, the light falls onto the sensor more efficiently. This gives you more contrast and details from edge to edge, as well as more dynamic range and maximum resolution. It also helps reduce light fall off at the edges of the frame. Nikko Z lenses gather more light than other lenses. And with more light comes more freedom to create exactly what you want. The S-Line lenses are at the top of the Nikko Z lineup. These are premium lenses with the most advanced optics and coatings. S-Line lenses all feature a customizable control ring, for example to adjust aperture or ISO, a rapid yet virtually silent multi-focusing system, and they have extensive sealing to keep out dust and moisture. 
so built to take on any location, Nikko Z full frame S-line lenses put the future of imaging in focus. With the arrival of both the 1424 and 7200 mm f2.8 S-line, the Nikko mirrorless trinity is complete. So with these three professional lenses, you cover the full focal range from 14 to 200 mm at f2.8. If you only bring these three in your bag, you'll be able to shoot anything, from landscape to portraits, wildlife sports, and everything in between. When I'm working under a time pressure, like that perfect light for 15 or 10 minutes, I want to be super fast. So I'm trying to use the zooms most of the time. I've got the 2470Z, 2.8 and the 7200 and the 1424 here and this really helps me just be really fast without compromising on quality because those lenses are sharp all the way through. I also had a lot of fun throwing on that 1.4 teleconverter and to be perfectly honest I'm really not a fan of teleconverters on zoom lenses but I was pleasantly surprised that it worked out great. I've always loved the 1424 f-mount lens but it's a beast this thing is heavy so I always had to think about whether or not I take it on a shoot but now the 1424 z lens is 2.8 and I was so surprised when I first had it in my hand that it was just like, oh, it's a lot lighter. The most important part about being a travel photographer is still enjoying the experience. Having a system like the set system with me makes it really easy for me to still, you know, immerse myself into the travel experience and not get distracted by carrying too much heavy gear or just you know, too much technical stuff to worry about. I love the 2470 because it gives me all the ranges that I need. With 2.8, I have great depth of field, amazing light coming in, and I don't need any prime lenses anymore. I like a zoom lens because it gives me more flexibility. I have to be dynamic and adaptable to whatever happens. It keeps me moving and keeps me easy on the feet. In landscape photography, of course, there is different light situations and the lens is extremely important. And Nikon did an incredible job with this new uh, 14 to 24 f2.8, <laughs> which is extremely lightweight also. That's very important for a landscape photographer, which is hiking a lot. It has a beautiful nine-bladed aperture, which causes 18 rayed sun star and it nearly has no problems with uh, reflections and with flares. The use of filters is also possible with this lens. We've got the slide-in filters in the back and the screw-on filters on the front. So this 7200 uh, 2.8 lens is my most used lens. It's my go-to-go -go lens in pretty much all the situations that come super fast. And with the 70 mm up to 200 mm, it's uh, full on sharp uh, the whole way. I can zoom out, I can take tight portraits, or then I can take the animals in the landscape. And then the 50 mm lens is not the most common in the wildlife photography uh, world, but I love the fact of aperture 1.2 that I use when I'm comfortable with the animals and there is some trust between us. For me, it's an absolute advantage to have the new Z-series of lenses. It's a wide range, the quality is amazing and they are very fast and they are very light. My favorite lens is the 85 because I can focus on the emotions of the couple which is very important during a day and I can also have the great shots of the guests. 50 mm is very natural, I use it always. For example, I can get the shot of a dress and I also can go closer, even intimate group shots with the 50. I do everything with the 50. The other lens I really adore is the 35 mm because there I can get the wide shots which I really need for large group shots or even for the couple shots. The Nikko Z lenses impressed me because they are really sharp, they are really compact. The fact that they are really small is really something important for me because they are light. They are not frightening the couple when I'm shooting them. The 35 is my favorite lens because you can do everything with it. If you have the ability to move and get the right composition, you can have close-ups, you can have wide shots. The color they produce, the, the contrast, the sharpness, uh, everything looks better with, the, with this glass. So with the new lens, Nikko Z, 
85, 1.8, the result was outstanding because the depth to field, the way that the light was coming in, the details, the perfection of the skin tone and the sharpness and more depth within the subject. So I had to compare the depth to field that I was able to achieve with this lens. Now Nikon's got the Z series, it's definitely improved the way how I think creatively and experiment in terms of photography. I got into the habit of just using an 85 for almost 95% of my work as well. And now I'm actually using a 24 to 70. So it's nice to be able to experiment, be more creative and push myself to try new things. When you're using a camera like the Z7 II with 45 megapixel, you're not able to use any kind of lenses anymore because it's too many pixels. So you need a lens which is capable. And that's why I'm using those S-line set mount lenses because they are made for high resolutions. They're made for corner sharpness, which has never been seen. Working these last few days with the new Z-System zooms, I've been really happy with the results. And I think like so far, all of the Z-System lenses I've tried, they've just been really great in the image quality department. So I'm looking forward to all the future options. Having seen what our Z creators can produce with the Z6 II and also the Z7 II, and then hearing about their excitement around the new features, it's clear that whatever your interest in photography is, whether you like to shoot landscape, wildlife, portraiture, sports, there's going to be new features that are in these cameras that are going to help you improve. And the great thing to keep in mind is that because the Z6 II and the Z7 II are incredibly good hybrid cameras, you're not only going to be improving in your photography, you're also going to be improving in your videography as well. With the release of six camera bodies, 16 lenses, two teleconverters and an FTZ adapter, we are not only showing our commitment to the Nikon Z system, but also to our community of photographers and videographers out there. And even though we speak about the next chapter here, this is just one step and the next step in our continuous evolution of cameras and lenses. Even in the production of this launch film, it has been great to see the Z-series cameras and lenses used in unique ways to capture the content. From flying the Z-series cameras and lenses on an FPV drone, to getting cinematic shots in locations that a larger system would have slowed down or made the production process difficult. The Z-System has enabled us to create without compromise. Once you start using a camera and you start seeing the benefit of it, there is no going back. So all these things have made my process not only more professional, but also more enjoyable. Having lighter equipment and a lighter bag allows me to save energy and just focus on the shot. I'm really happy with the different options I have now. I really love that option to be able to just go super light, take a Z6 II with me, a couple of lenses, and just move fast with the athletes when I'm all alone out there and I have to move quickly. For me, the advantages of the mirrorless cameras is just amazing. The Z7 II delivers me everything from the big cameras, but in a small house. And what's the most important thing for me is the lenses. Because the mount is so much bigger than the F mount, the possibilities of building lenses is just incredible. It helps a lot to have all these technical advances. It's better than the way I expected, really. The results are so amazing. Um, it makes your wedding day very easy. We are very thankful to have this camera. What I noticed immediately was the, the color and the, the image quality. There's something different than what I can see everywhere else, and that feels good. To have a camera system that's uh, reliable on these conditions and just trust the system so much that you can just feel the moments and be in the, in the picture and the scene. And that's the best part. Everything feels familiar. It's nice knowing that I could just pick up the Z6 II and still be able to shoot the same way how I was shooting before, but with the new added features. I'm super excited knowing that I'm going to be able to push my skills and 
be more creative in terms of photography. So the experience that I have with this camera, even if it's only one photo shoot, was giving me a very fast flow that even myself today, I had to process what just happened. The entire experience was for me, I was entering the future of photography.